Hello, can you all hear me? Okay, I will turn the camera on. So please tell me if you can hear me clearly and see me. Hi. Okay, perfect. Everything seems to be working. Okay, for now, I will keep all of you on mute. Okay, so I will uh, temporarily mute you so you cannot speak, but I will unmute you once we start. So uh, good evening, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you're doing well. And uh, in these unfortunate times, I hope you're all uh, you know, finding something interesting to do and, you know, that you're keeping yourself busy. So a uh, welcome. It's uh, been a pleasure to see so many of you uh, still here and some new names and some old uh, faces from before. So welcome once again. I hope you have a good time today and I hope you are willing to talk because today's webinar is all about talking. So feel free to just, you know, uh, let it all out, so to say. So yes, we're about to start. Uh, Ivana says no audio on my side. Okay, please, yeah, check the settings. Maybe uh, your speakers and your microphone should be switched or something like that. Okay, okay, good. So we are about to start. Let me just quickly just share my screen of the PPT that I prepared for today. So, okay, let me unmute you all, but please keep yourselves on mute, okay? I will now unmute you, but uh, don't switch until you want to speak, okay? So, okay, the sec. Okay, there it is. So today's, uh, today's class, as I mentioned, just about talking. So don't worry if you don't find it interesting, you don't have to, don't feel pressured. You don't have to talk if you don't feel like it. So just relax, you know, speak freely, open-mindedly, don't stress over making some mistakes, it's okay. So today we're just about, you know, talking and keeping it, you know, laid back and cool. So any digressions are also welcome. Don't worry if we digress from the topics. So that's perfectly fine. But the topics are just, you know, an over, uh, let's say, outline overview of something. So be careful that you just talk. That's the most important thing. So uh, let's start first with uh, a volunteer who would like to introduce themselves, you know, just say a couple of things. Where are you from? What do you do? Are you a student, a worker, you know, and things like that? May, may I go first? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, my name is Ivana. I'm from Serbia. I live in a small city in eastern Serbia, and I work currently as an online English teacher for Bibo, <laughs> the famous Engu or Bibo. Um, <laughs> I actually majored in something completely different. I majored astrophysics, so I'm kind of good with math and physics, but I only worked for some four or five years at high school as a teacher, then I switched to this. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's pretty much all about me. Um, I'm a mother, I have a five-year-old uh -huh. daughter, and yeah, my her hobbies are my hobbies, so <laughs> <laughs> I spend most of my free time at home with her. So, okay, yeah, all about pretty me. good, pretty good, excellent. Astrophysics, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Okay, guys, please, uh, who isn't talking, please turn your microphone, okay? So we don't have uh, the background noise. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Ivana. Excellent. Who wants to go next? Hmm? Who wants to introduce themselves? Where do you well, come from? Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Denise. I'm from Trikvenica, Croatia. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm actually an English teacher. I majored in Croatian and English and language and literature, Faculty mm -hmm. of Philosophy. Oh. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so now I'm currently working as a translator and court interpreter. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's actually what I enjoy doing. My day job is uh, something else. I'm a um, uh, project manager in uh, city administration. Mm -hmm. But uh, translation and languages are my first love, so this is what I do mm -hmm. in my spare time. And uh, I really enjoy webinars like this, uh, meeting <laughs> maybe colleagues, learning something new. So this is a great experience for me. Okay. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> Yesterday, I also went to a couple of these webinars. Uh, they were hosted by Serbian Polyglot Club. So it was pretty interesting. From 8 o'clock to uh, almost 11, I was just sitting here talking to people. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, Excellent. Okay, really nice. Anyone else? Let's go. <clears throat> okay, may I? 
yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, hello there. Hello to everyone. My name is Olivera. I'm from Serbia. Uh, I'm coming from Belgrade. I am 43 years nearly in June. I will be 43, <laughs> but I feel like I'm 23. Uh, at present, I work for Likeshu uh, as my dear colleague, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> So luckily or, or unfortunately, I don't Luckily, know. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've studied also faculty of philology here, here in Belgrade, uh, Greek and English language. And, uh, and I also like this kind of e events. Mm -hmm. uh, I am freshly married to a wonderful man. My Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We, we we will celebrate in two days uh, our uh, two years of of marriage, uh, and I'm expecting some really great. I'm mm -hmm. looking at him. Sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make some joke. Okay, and uh, I I also like English, and I uh, I was very happy that you invited me today. So okay. <laughs> that's about it for now. Perfect. Okay. It's not going to take long. It's going to be like an hour or so. So just, you know, but it, and yes, we might be interrupted by Zoom. So please just re-enter the same meeting uh, for everybody. So uh, when it interrupts, it's because of the basic version, you know, how it works. So just re-enter the same meeting. Okay, perfect. Anybody else? Let's go. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> Biljana? Biljana, can you please turn on your microphone? Yes. Hello. Can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, my name is Bilena. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Belgrade. Um, I uh, studied the uh, Faculty of Philology. My major was Serbian Literature. Uh, and now I'm in some kind of transition to web development. So I'm learning about this stuff and uh, try to improve my English. And um, I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. That's really good. Excellent. Nice to have you. Okay, anybody else? Yes, dear. Can Hi. I? Yes, of course. Hi, dear. <laughs> uh, is everything okay? First time I have uh, experience with Zoom. Is everything okay? Perfect. Yes, okay. My name is Ines. I came from Rijeka. Welcome the people from Serbia. We know from, <laughs> from our past, aren't we? Uh, I'm here just I want to improve my English and what I'm doing I have two career one is that I'm manager is in teaching it for the public health I'm leading the department of prevention of violence and another is something like a life coach I lead the uh, constellation systemic constellation family constellation workshop and individually long distance and everything and I don't know something more <laughs> That's oh, perfectly fine enough. for introduction. Yeah, that's perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Ines. It's nice to have you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's go. Uh, who else is here? We have uh, some newcomers. Okay. Uh, Mate is here. Hello, Mate. Mate. Uh-huh. Oh, Hello. hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> perfect. Nice to meet you all. So I also can introduce myself. I'm Mate. I'm 27. Almost 27. I will be in June. <laughs> Uh, I completed my master in trade business, and that's it. I'm, I, uh, yeah, and I'm from Jaco. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Anybody else who is willing to introduce themselves? No pressure. <laughs> okay. I will definitely, you know, leave uh, it sorry. up. Can I just say one more thing? I don't see all of you because I'm on my cell phone. I see only four of you. But I think I know Ines. If it's the Ines, I know. Hi, Ines. <laughs> <I'm here>. Hi, <laughs> <Dina>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. People knowing each other. Excellent, excellent. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, d the four of us, because of the pictures, something with the pictures here, never mind. Okay, now let's go to our topics. It's nothing much. It's basically describing your work, you know, your jobs, your occupations. So these are just some questions you might use, you might want to answer, or anything that you think is important you can also answer that or just share so tell me about your job do you think it's stressful or not and would you like to change your job or uh, is this your dream job that you're doing currently and if not what would it be so take a look and you can just mix it up you know your answer can be something 
of this or whatever you like. Again, who wants to go first, break the ice? <laughs> okay, I can do it uh -huh. because I think that I'm the most older. I have 43. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Age is just it's a number. Super. <laughs> yes, but everybody says, oh my God, they're so young. <laughs> okay, is it yes, it is really stressful every day to go to the Teaching Institute for the Public Health because of this shit of Corona. Yes, it is stressful because every day we are risk because mm -hmm. you never know if she come inside of the system. We are all in big risk. And second one, well, me, I like a um, cons consultant or life coach now. It's very, very... I never work more mm. than now because people is really burn out. Mm. People it's need very, help and support. They need support. They need somebody to really hear them and tell them, mm. okay, it is shitty time, but we can do it. You can do it and all of us we must do it. We are in the same shit. Yes, we must. <laughs> we don't we, have a choice. Um, yes, but somebody <laughs> must. We must just must do it, and it's very stressful yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. But we must just support our job now. It's mm -hmm. really more, more important than anything to be with our people in teaching institute and with, mm -hmm. with my client. Not just mm -hmm. I have more the new client, and for me, what is important now, it's everything for free. Mm -hmm. I'm working for free because. Mm -hmm do it now something mm -hmm. for money it is yeah, against yeah, the I know. all principles karmic principles <laughs> yeah. something yeah i know that's that's what i also think yeah me too me too okay perfect anybody else what about your uh you know dream job what would it be or is it your dream job that you're doing now yes it is yes i i am um, they pay me to do what I really want to do that time. My jackpot, I do the same. Very nice. Okay, yes. cool. Somebody else? Hmm? Yeah, I'll, I'll go next, <laughs> if you don't mind. Um, uh -huh. This is not my dream job, definitely, but I don't really have a dream job. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I can adapt very easily to any job that I do. So no matter what kind of job it is, I can find some pleasure in it. So I, I think wow. that's actually pretty good because you have to be extremely lucky to get a perfect job with perfect colleagues. It's not too far, the pay is enough. So um, th this is good. It gives me a lot of flexibility, which is important because I've got a daughter. So I can I can work nights, I can work evenings when she's at the kindergarten, even when she's sick, it's, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, most of the days are normal. Yesterday was chaos. So mm -hmm. you lessons are very random so you have to yeah. switch from a five-year-old kid to someone who is you know a researcher in differential topology and then oh my god to something completely different. <laughs> so you know you just don't have a lot of time to prepare in advance you have to shift uh very very fast but mm -hmm. other than that i mean it's also a very rewarding job because you meet a lot of people professions you never even heard about mm -hmm. different lifestyles different ideas so mm -hmm. Um, when we started this job, they always say like, oh, you got to tell your students that this is, <laughs> in this job, they get to meet people from 50 different countries, but actually it's, it's quite the same for me because <laughs> yeah. you learn a lot about, you know, completely different cultures mm. and, and lifestyles. So, mm. um, I would say that this, this is a good job for me. I, I wouldn't change it for a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think, you know, the perfect job exist as long as you are okay with it you know if you are perfectly yeah. fine with that job for the rest of your life then it's perfect for you but i think you know people change and you might yeah. you know reconsider something totally different go back to astrophysics or whatnot i don't know yeah that's, that's true, that's <laughs> true. Know? so yeah excellent okay perfect next who wants to go about your work about your job how do you balance everything i mean is it hard for you to balance we are not balanced, we just survive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, can I just notice something? We have similar chairs as as far as I can see. Gaming <laughs> chair, dude. This one is the the master of chairs. <laughs> so we are not supposed to be stressed <laughs> on our job, right? 
Okay, so I used to, to have a very stressful job. I used to work for uh, big companies here in Belgrade, Telecom Serbia and one private a foreign country, uh, for, sorry, a foreign company from Greece. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I thought that uh, everything is up, up to me to, to mm -hmm. do everything. Uh, but unfortunately, something happened uh, with my health mm -hmm. uh, because it was too stressful. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will share with you, of course, uh, I have uh, MS. Uh, oh my maybe, God. Most, yeah. maybe most of you know, yeah. So I'm not allowed to be stressed, especially uh, on our job, right? And I'm trying to not to be stressed on our classes, uh, and that can be very challenging to do. Mm. Uh, let's say it's not a dream job, but but it, now it's a great job because I can I can organize myself, I can travel, I I like traveling. I used to like. I used to travel a lot yeah. in the past, uh, so I'm also trying to balance uh, work and uh, private life as well. But uh, yes, our job at the at the moment can be very good, uh, comparing uh, some other positions in uh, some companies. Probably most of you who who work for other organizations knows that. So yes. I, I'm trying not to be stressful mm -hmm. and to, to go to enjoy myself at work. Excellent. Okay. okay. You go. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Anybody else? Okay. Denise, maybe. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, you, can you hear me? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, basically, I would say that I wanted to translate all my life, and uh, this mm. is what I have completed in college, and this is what I'm doing now. So I'm definitely doing my dream job. However, my day job is uh, in the city administration, which, mm -hmm. which is not exactly how I pictured my perfect job. But since it's dynamic, and you can learn a lot, and it's never the same, and it's actually you actually can see the benefits of what you do. Uh, I'm talking about uh, EU projects and funding uh -huh, that uh -huh. uh, basically make some changes in the community I live in. So basically, I think it's close to a, it's not a dream job, but I'm uh, deriving some kind of satisfaction from it. So I would say that's a definition of what, what you could say, the best of both worlds. I'm working what I love at home and I'm actually doing something good at my work. So basically, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And okay, I'm trying that's to balance nice. with private life <laughs> with all that. So, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Okay, that's nice to hear that you're trying and it works basically, you know. Wow, in these challenging times, I think it's really important to at least have any job, at least anything, like yeah. anything that brings food to your table. <laughs> then we'll we'll talk about satisfaction and everything after all of this corona shit blows over. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, Mate, what about you? Or Biljana. <laughs> Uh, I can go. Uh, well, I'm currently unemployed, but uh, my career so far was so uh, chaotic. Um, I worked in um, a trans uh, um, in agency for uh, translation agency, and that was very stressful because of um, all the short deadlines and uh, managing a lot of people to do um, translate to translate stuff on time and uh, uh, clients and their uh, uh, demand uh, demands and after that i worked in library which was very relaxed job <laughs> and very nice and mm. uh, unstressful but uh, now i try to um, um, to make transition to to web development, which is very mm. creative, and I um, enjoy in mm -hmm. work that. You enjoy <laughs> that, yeah. Uh huh. Enjoy in that, yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really into it. My boyfriend actually is into IT and everything with programming and mm -hmm. stuff, and I'm like, computers totally different space space for me and you know? it's like talking greek or something like that I, I don't understand anything about computers 
unless you know turn it on okay uh, people are coming in that's great excellent we have also a couple of people katarina is here okay katarina if you want to talk just switch uh, switch on and turn your microphone on. Okay, Matej, would you like to say something about your job or work? Matej? Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe he is away. Diana, I know Diana from before. Diana oh, so, Diana. sorry, sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'm it's here. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm also currently unemployed, but I can say something about my last internship in Belgium. I don't know if the, the job uh, it's like very interesting. It, it wasn't stressful at all, but I can say like it was very difficult to to adjust in the working time because they start to work at nine in the morning, you know, and uh, everything with there is quite expensive. So I also I didn't use uh, public transport. I always walked in the work. Mm -hmm. So it was like three kilometer far away. So every morning, you know, like uh, go to work and after the work, those, when I finish, it was uh, five o'clock and I need maybe half, uh, half an hour to, to come back home. And then you like, you need to prepare dinner and then you eat and go to sleep. And then, you know, it was very, very, very difficult. Maybe that was stressful like, yeah. to organize my, myself. But yeah, it was very interesting. And I learned a lot from that, you know, how to organize your, your time. To do mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, let's now go to the next topic. So, anybody who didn't get a chance to talk about work or job, you can just, you know, uh, tell me about it uh, in the next uh, round. So, the next round is about health. So, the, you know, topic of health is the buzz topic nowadays because of the corona and everything. So, do you think you actually lead a healthy lifestyle and why or why not? So, what do you need to change about your lifestyle? Is there anything that you would like to, you know, reduce or improve? Like, uh, I don't know, get rid of some bad habits like smoking or something. So, let's talk about a bit of, uh, you know, about health and change and your overall lifestyle. What do you think? Ines, we can start with you, maybe. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm living healthy. I think that I'm, I I can exercise more. To be honest, we all can. <laughs> yes, but if you if you work where I'm do working to the public health institute, we do mm. all the promotion of healthy life. Still ah. living something what we know it will be very okay and uh, drink more water mm -hmm. i don't drink enough water and that is very important and i think so that in this period what is show it's more important to take care about our mm -hmm. um, how to say um more, more, mm -hmm. more. Take more vitamins, more vitamin minerals. Everything that our star mm -hmm. position. If Corona comes, that our body is enough strong to mm -hmm. that it can down. fight. It can fight Corona. Yes, yes. build immunity. That is uh -huh. very important in this in this moment. And I don't. I'm healthy, but I don't mm -hmm. think so that anybody of us now we are very aware. Start to be aware how is the, our health. And, very important mm -hmm. we can yes. have money and and everything and traveling and now it's only what is important to be we be i be held and all people who are allowed to be held but if somebody mm -hmm. happens something we are all destroyed it's done yeah you, you you know the healthy healthy man has thousand wishes sick man has only one to get well so that's the uh, whole point unfortunately Oliveira says like yeah <laughs> Oliveira you definitely have something to say about health I, I believe yes un unfortunately I do <laughs> unfortunately so uh, let's just specify are we talking about physical health or mental health because if you're asking me, it, it, that is uh, equally uh, important. So uh, to be physical, healthy and mentally. Unfortunately, I know because of my disease mm. and uh, I learned a lot since uh, I'm struggling with this uh, or let's say I'm living with this disease every day since uh, uh, 
let's say it it's 12th, 12th year now that I'm struggling wow. with it. So I'm, I'm trying to just live with, uh, with this MS. So I'm not fighting against this. So mm. every problem that uh, occurs uh, uh, in your life, you should just uh, think positive. So mm. you shouldn't be afraid of uh, any problem that comes. Mm. Uh, so Ines, I, I agree. The, you, you have to work on uh, physical health but uh, you also have to to think about uh, mental health and to be strong enough to let's say to deal with many problems daily problems so i'm trying to be positive i'm not always but i'm always okay mm -hmm. that happened that is bad but it will be better today uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. sorry so uh yes unfortunately i cannot work on my strong immunity because i'm not allowed to uh, mm. because of my disease uh, but uh, i am i'm trying to so to let's say uh, just to live normally as mm -hmm. i think we all should do uh, we are all coming from xu right <laughs> so we we have many problems from our past and uh, we cannot be but i think that prepared us for all challenges that occurred uh through our lives if mm. you agree all all with me so uh yes you should be uh doing on your uh physical help but also on mental to work uh, on uh fighting uh -huh. with all problems that are coming so you have to be just positive and strong enough to deal with everything so i think that's the most important and very well said mm. yes uh, that's what i learned uh, living with this yeah this awful ms <laughs> yeah. yeah okay perfect thank you thank you for sharing your well i mean personal experience yeah. unfortunately so but i think everybody has something you know negative about the health you know of course yes point no, of their yes. life yeah. I agree. Many of you will probably not tell anyone. Uh, I used not to, to tell anyone in past. I had a big problem telling people, but now uh, since I have visible, uh, let's say... Uh, Symptoms. Uh -huh. Yes, so you, you, you can see my leg. I cannot mm. walk as a normal person. And I used to, to, to be very, uh, let's say, cautious, conscious to oh what will people say oh mm. i cannot tell anyone why because no one knows uh, or most of people doesn't know anything about mm -hmm. it and they will tell oh, oh she has ms yeah. okay so okay but people come on <laughs> so uh yes i i'm trying to be strong enough to deal with mm -hmm. any problem now so i i think i'm i am okay. good at, at that cool at this Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, uh, Ivana, what about you? What do you think of your healthy lifestyle? <laughs> what could you change? Oh, you can always change at least five things, but um, I don't think anything is urgent yet. <laughs> um, I, I'm very lucky to have a very fast metabolism, so anything I eat gets burned pretty quickly. So oh, wow. I never had issues <laughs> with you know <laughs> going on a diet and such. Um, but my biggest issue regarding health is that I have very weak immune system. So uh -huh. I get sick very often, and when I do, I'm sick for like a month. So, you know, that, that can be a bit of an issue. And it's annoying because um, mm. I, I don't feel like I can do anything about it. No matter how healthy I eat, I could eat, you know, a kilo of oranges or any form of vitamin <laughs> C. It doesn't help. It's simply, I don't know, something about it is just not working the way it should. But other than that, uh, it's okay. I mean, um, work can always cause you stress, but that's all about how you can manage your, your time and, you know, work and, and life balance. Um, the more responsibilities you take, the harder it's going to be for you. So mm -hmm. you got to learn to, you know, say, okay, no, I'm not going to do that. I want an hour for myself. You can all just, you know, <laughs> go to the other room and let me be for an hour to, exactly. to calm my head. So, um, as, Regarding mental health, um, it's all about how you treat yourself. If you allow yourself to be, you know, um, 
well to, to accept or, yeah. To, yeah to be weak and to just let other people you know walk over you all the time that 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 that's just gonna cause consequences for you so uh, mm. the better you look after yourself the better will others uh, mm. look after you as well so uh so yeah that that's all about me nothing special Pretty okay cool. thank you for that's sharing <laughs> <laughs> okay it's good to be somewhere in the middle you know not yeah that, that bad things don't happen exactly uh, something that you mentioned about you know uh treating yourself that's something that Ines actually taught me well, Ines, you remember <laughs> from before but let's not go into that yes i just recall <laughs> thank you Ines. <laughs> well, you're well. it's my it's my it's my pleasure um Olivera, I, i'm sorry i take a little a second before uh, I, someone else tells if you want to speak about your disease uh, after the session, uh, Diana can give you my, my telephone number, and I think so that I have some point, maybe, so she can, can be uh, useful because I'm 23 years in the alternative place, and maybe Great. I have some information about that, because I don't believe that something is just happened, everything have a reason, I'm not, mm. normally I'm in this moment I'm not online and I'm not have a time or anything mm -hmm. okay Thanks. after that thank we you. can be in. okay <laughs> well, thank you i appreciate you it <laughs> thank we you <laughs> trying trying to support everybody thank you excellent excellent thank okay, you next lot. i would like to ask uh, Bilena, what do you have to say about your health about my health well i have a lot a lot a lot of uh, bad habits uh, but <laughs> i'm still healthy which is <laughs> kind of miracle um <laughs> Uh, well, I could, uh, I don't know, work out more to mm. start eating healthy and... Mm. <laughs> we all could, I think. We all yeah. <laughs> just try a bit yeah, and get some more fresh air, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. How, how about you, Diana? About me? Uh, yeah. My health is, I, I would say, actually never better. I have to knock on wood. I'm constantly at home. I'm constantly sitting. I'm actually exercising at home. I'm trying a bit and I actually lost some weight, which is a miracle. So yay. <laughs> I don't know how that Impressive. happened, but it's probably because I'm not eating fast food anymore. <laughs> I'm just actually cooking. So yeah. We don't ask what are you exercise. We'll be very... <laughs> I can share. No, we don't ask. <laughs> I'm joking. If anybody wants, to, I can share you uh, share with you. No, no, no. Thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Let me uh, let me go to Denise. Denise, what do you have to say about your health and your lifestyle? Well, knock on wood, my health is good. I don't have any troubles, more or less, almost never. And uh, it's not because of my habits, because I eat all kinds of stuff. I eat fast food, I eat sweets, oh. a lot mm. of bad things. But uh, recently I started doing yoga and uh, I think it's uh, really, uh, it's more like, uh, well, physically I'm still on the level very much beginner, but uh, mentally I think yoga is great for your mental health because it calms you down, it relieves stress. And... Um, I think uh, I found in yoga and meditation something that calms my overreactive mind. So, yeah, it's like a <laughs> nuclear <recommendation>. mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there are like a lot of online classes, also free classes that you can do. So, it's actually great, uh, mm -hmm. even during these quarantine times. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, what I discovered recently, which is also really good for mental health in this stressful time, is. Um, fractal drawings i don't know if you heard about it amazing. it's a method that yeah it's pretty amazing i'm i'm no no artist really i don't know how to draw and it really looks ridiculous but it's actually really calming when you mm -hmm. draw for three hours and it's like also some sort of a meditation it's amazing how it calms you and you forget about everything else you, and your focus is much better and uh, actually, I discovered this recently, so I'm pretty happy about it. So also another recommendation. Wow, cool. Okay, I've actually heard, I've seen uh, ads on Facebook or something about fractal drawing, and it looks beautiful, actually. So pretty cool. Okay, I'll look into that a bit more. Okay, uh, anybody else who wants to comment on their health? Mate, maybe, Katarina, I'm just, you know, I'm not pressuring you. <laughs> 
Hmm? Anybody yes, else? Uh, girls, ah. If you want the book about fractals, they waiting you in Cirrus. I have fractal. I know for the fractals the last five years and uh -huh. Tanzilia. I have mm -hmm. in, when mm -hmm. I was in Belgrade, she 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 was there and I met her. She's the author of Technique. Ah, and okay. I have, and I have her book. And in Cirrus, it's waiting for you if you want to read about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, Cirrus is okay. the place where uh, Ines yeah, has her constellations. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, Ines, I'll be there if the first, uh, on the first opportunity, I'll be there. <laughs> Okay, cool. Now, uh, just a little bit of the food topic. Let's go to lighter topics. We all like to eat, of course. So what do you uh, do to keep a balanced diet? What is your favorite food? Can you tell me if you have a sweet tooth? And uh, what is your favorite fast food? I know we all have our sins. Mine is definitely food. I'm a Taurus in horoscope, so I like good, good food and eating and anything else with indulging. <laughs> so <laughs> tell me a bit about that. Ivana, maybe? or anybody else? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, let me just, I, I did something with the video. Let me just uh, find you guys again. Uh-huh, okay. Just, never mind. Uh, I'll try to find place. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, ah. sorry. <laughs> um, I, <sighs> regarding food. Well, I, I eat everything. I've never considered being a, a vegetarian or a vegan, or but I'm not a meat lover either. I mean, I just eat everything um i'm not very picky mm -hmm. and um i would say that i eat enough with everything um i had a very bad habit of eating a lot of sweets oh <laughs> um, but that's uh, uh <laughs> it's, it's not an, an issue anymore um unfortunately my husband was diagnosed with diabetes so uh. for half a year or so we've been cutting down on sugar completely so the the only sugar i get is from coffee pretty much <laughs> So yeah, that's a, a very bad habit that I got to lose um, mm -hmm. 